Hey friends, Logan Mills here with Dream Guitars, and I have a 2023 Dreadnought from Mr. Don Musser that I am quite a fan of. <laughs> uh, it's the tree mahogany for the back and sides. It's Colorado Engelman spruce on top with a really tasty uh, shade top finish. Sort of a squared off, but slightly rounded uh, <laughs> shoulder uh, design for a Dreadnought body. And a voice that is frankly gorgeous. Um, it's Sometimes the tree can lend a level of complexity, but also airiness and still that mahogany dryness and kind of a fundamental punch all at the same time. And this is a good example of that. Um, there's just really, there's a level of, you know, for lack of a better word, beauty um, and complexity in the voice that is just really, just nice. Um, you know, I, I'm really enjoying doing this for finger picking things, but it also still has some pretty good headroom for some flat picking work as well. Um, really good clarity um, across the registers. The notes just, they stand out very cleanly and they, they play nice together, <laughs> so to speak. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it for a little bit. So getting on top and getting on into it, we have a shade top finish for that Engelman spruce, which is very gorgeous. A little bit darker here on the upper bout. Um, that looks nice. Sort of a tiger stripe-ish um, pickguard. Abalone for the rosette. And then coming around to the side, we have that lovely tree mahogany. Then on the back, yet more tree mahogany. Nice little bit of figuring to it. Um, kind of got that quilting quality. Lots of chatoyants. So as I tilt the guitar back and forth, you notice there's like a rippling effect and that's the three-dimensional uh, chatoyants happening right there. Really fun to stare at. <laughs> uh, as we come up the neck, it is a it's a very soft V kind of a profile, sort of middle of the road thickness. Um, seems decently full from you know the top of the fingerboard to the back of the neck, right? Yeah, feels pretty great for me, just for context. Um, gold Waverly tuners, of course, with those tortoise style buttons and a, more of a, a almost perfectly squared off headstock. There's a slight ch -ch little arch to it. But yeah, fun creature. So if you want to get into a dread that has a, a lot of complexity, a lot of clarity, um, certainly more of a modern voice, um, check out this 2023 Musser. Cheers. Mm -hmm. 